buckle up, because this is gonna be a long one. I'm sharing my favorite Nordstrom anniversary sale picks. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. You guys know if you're regular viewers, every single year I cover the Nordstrom anniversary sale. This year feels a little different because of everything going on in the world, because of COVID and quarantine and all of that. I know a lot of people are struggling, their businesses are struggling, I know mine has been. I wanna start out this video by saying, if you plan to shop the sale, be very strategic about your purchases, don't go overboard. You don't need to go overboard. If you're really strategic with the wardrobe basics checklist, like really think about your wardrobe basics first. I think that you can make smart, really pointed decisions. And if you don't already have my wardrobe basics checklist, I give them out for free when you sign up for my newsletter. That link is in the description box below. All of the links of all of the products will be in the description box below, as well as a blog post sharing all of the information about the Nordstrom anniversary sale and all of our picks as a team in every category. In this video, I wanna focus on my favorites, specifically geared for women over 40, over 50. There's a lot to get through, so let's just dive in. I'm gonna go by category and then tell you my top picks in each category, but I'm also styling those picks within a look. The first category is sleepwear, loungewear, activewear. I wanted to highlight first the Nordstrom brand pajamas. I did a couple years ago feature a pair from Amazon that were very similar to this pair by Nordstrom. And what I can tell you is that the Amazon pair, while probably half the price, doesn't hold up, doesn't wash and wear well. The Nordstrom pair washes beautifully, holds up beautifully, super soft fabric. And I also love that it has short sleeves and shorts as an option because I run really hot at night. Sometimes I have hot flashes, but in general, I'm just always a little furnace. Love this set in black. I also have this set already in navy, but I wanted to get the black as well. If you like this fabric and how it feels, they also have a pants version. I got these really cute striped ones, but they have just like the piping, regular piping ones. And then you can also get the nightgown version. There are three options, all in that Nordstrom brand, all really chic, but also just super cute and functional. Next thing I wanna talk about are bras. I feel like bras and underwear are one of those things that you can always replenish. And so this year I really stocked up on some beautiful bras, mostly Chantel Notori. And what I like about the bras that I bought is that they're very pretty, but they're also like not so padded. I feel like sometimes I have all these t-shirt bras and they're like super thick padding and it looks bustier. So I like that these are all really thin and not really padded and they're also very pretty. I'll put all of these in the description box below for you guys to check out. I would say they all run true to size. Third thing I wanted to highlight in this category are these Beyond Yoga leggings. What I love about these leggings, well, first of all, anything Beyond Yoga, I'm in. I love it. I love the brand. But what I love in particular about these leggings is the V shape at the waistline. That's a very interesting, different detail that you don't see that often. And I also love how they kind of like a sexy sheen to them too. You'll see that the Beyond Yoga leggings are the perfect length for me. I'm 5'4", so if you're taller than that, they'll be slightly more cropped. But the great thing about Beyond Yoga, super soft fabric, breathable, never get hot in them, and it's just an awesome fabric for working out. By the way, how cute is this sports bra? This is by Zella. I love the back of the sports bra. It's all strappy and fun. It's a very comfortable, soft sports bra. I also wanted to highlight the Zella jacket. I like to have these little throw on active wear jackets and this one is really cute, has a hood too. I did wanna mention another set in the sale by Aloe Yoga. It's really cute, but it's not as comfortable as the Beyond Yoga. So the pants are comfortable, silky, great fabric. They run a little bit longer, but the sports bra, although super duper cute, is, I don't know, it just feels like tighter. It's not as soft and lovely as the Zella sports bra, but it is such a cool color and I love all of the strappy details in the back. Next category, one of my favorites, jackets and blazer. This year there are some really exciting jackets. I did mention in my preview video the Treasure and Bond Black Moto jacket. So if you didn't get a Black Moto yet, that's a good basic. I already have, like I have two Black Motos. Like I have all of my basics. So I'm kind of just looking for interesting pieces. One of the interesting pieces I wanna show you, it's also a Moto, but it's in a burgundy color. This is by All Saints and it is fabulous. It is such a great quality and you'll just, 
put it on and feel it. It runs small and runs a bit narrow. So I would size up if you're debating you between sizes. It's also on the pricey side. So there is an alternative option in the same color in the sale for much less. And we'll put that right underneath the All Saints jacket. So you guys can check that out if you want to. But this jacket, gore. Gis. And I'm wearing this over a knit top shop dress, which I'll talk more about in a minute. My favorite blazer in the sale this year is this faux leather blazer by Theory. I love the way it's cut. I love that it's faux leather, but it looks like the real deal. I love the length. I love the length of the sleeve. I love how it really fits me like a glove and it's sexy but it's still like sophisticated and it still feels elevated and appropriate. It's not over the top. You could throw this on with like a cami, the way I am right here with a cami, skinny jeans and black booties. You could throw it on over a t-shirt and jeans and booties. You could do a lot with this blazer. It's really lovely. The last jacket I wanted to show you guys is this Légence blazer and camel. I'm not sure what the exact color is called, but it's like a lightish camel. It's a beautiful color, just such a lovely, flattering neutral color. And it's soft and feminine. And I paired it with a really pretty beige bodysuit. This bodysuit's by Free People and some higher rise crop jeans. These are by Rag and Bone. I'll talk more about these jeans in a minute, but I wanted to show you this blazer. I talked about a blazer last year by Légence. The fit of this blazer is different. It's a little bit roomier and it's a little bit longer. So it's almost more of like a boyfriend blazer, but it still does have some tapering at the waist. It's a really sweet piece and I think it will layer beautifully over lightweight sweaters, blouses, tops. It'll be an awesome piece for fall. Very feminine and pretty. A couple of other quick jackets I wanted to mention. I talked about the Zella activewear jacket in the beginning. There's also one by Sweaty Betty that's in a white mesh that's super cool. You guys will love that. It fits really nicely. It's roomy. I could see it with jeans, but I can also see it over your activewear. And then the other two I wanted to talk about, this is especially poignant for those of you in climates like me, Patagonia Vest fuzzy fleecy vest and also Patagonia puffer. I bought this puffer last year and it's water resistant. It gets dirty all the time. I've washed it like six times. So I just wash it in cold, I hang it to dry and that's it. It washes beautifully. The thing I like about this lightweight puffer is that it works really well as a layering piece too. I can wear it underneath a wool coat or underneath another puffer if I need to. I ordered two coats. They haven't come in yet. They're gonna take a little bit more time, but I wanted to tell you what I ordered. So very specific Specifically, I ordered the Avec Le Fee coat in burgundy with the like military style buttons. And then I also ordered the Alpaca wrap coat by Cole Haan in this beautiful like light beige. I can't wait to show you those coats. I think they're going to be gorgeous. I'm excited and eager to see them. <laughs> Have you guys seen them? Did you see them in the store? If you did, let me know how they are. But those are my two picks for coats. Now let's talk about jeans. Jeans, jeans, jeans. So I think that this is the category where Nordstrom has the most options. If you need jeans, this is your year for the sale. There's a lot of jeans to choose from. I wanted to highlight three of my favorites. Now, again, I'm going to go back to this statement I made in the beginning. If you don't have your basics, basics would be your dark wash skinny jeans or your dark wash flare jeans or your dark wash straight leg jeans. Maybe you want to have those basics before you dive into the jeans I'm going to show you, which are not basics. So making sure that you cover those basics first, and then you go and venture into, you know, some more interesting modern kind of trendy pieces. The first pair of jeans I want to show you guys are these rag and bone gray skinny jeans. These jeans are cropped. They're a perfect length for me or the perfect length, regular length basically for me. <laughs> They're really high rise. They're very flattering. I love gray because I wear a lot of black. I feel like in the fall winter, gray is a nice contrast, but it still keeps you looking long and lean. These jeans, you're going to love them. Super flattering. You know, rag and bone is one of my favorites. They always have those small high pockets and they, these jeans do have a, quite a bit of stretch, but rag and bone notoriously runs a bit small. So just be aware of that. With these jeans, by the way, I'm 
wearing a sleeveless frame top and it like a silky fabric. Such a cute top. This one will transition perfectly. It's a wear now, wear later piece. And then on my feet, a pair of really cute Louise AC booties. Let's talk about my second favorite pair of jeans. They're also by Rag & Bone. They're more of a straight leg and they're also cropped. I've talked about this quite a bit on the channel that jeans, you know, we've been doing the skinnies for gosh, how long now, like a decade? It's great that we're seeing these wider leg silhouettes, straight leg silhouettes coming onto the scene after years and years and years of skinny jeans, right? You could still wear your skinny jeans, but if you wanna like modernize a bit, go for something with a straighter leg. What I like about the crop jeans this length is that if you wear a taller booty, they just fit beautifully under the jeans. It helps you keep the line long, doesn't cut off the leg, feels modern and fresh, feels different, new, a little more exciting. These have a little bit of fading, but not crazy. They're not distressed, so it's perfect for fall, winter when it gets chilly. And again, very high rise. Remember to check those shopping details I talked about in my Shop Like a Pro video. I'll put a link to that video below. So you make sure that you get the rise that's right for you as well as the inseam length that's right for you. With these jeans, by the way, I'm wearing that same bodysuit I just showed you a little bit ago with the camel blazer. It's just without the blazer and it's really pretty. It's by Free People, such a great piece. And I'm not hugely into bodysuits because for some reason I'm long here. And so the fit tends to be an issue for me, but with this bodysuit, the fabric is so lovely and the fit is, is great. You don't have to worry about it tugging. The last pair of jeans I wanna highlight is very similar to the pair I just showed you by Rag & Bone, but these are a fraction of the price by Madewell. Madewell jeans are awesome. I love Madewell jeans. And so these are also a high rise straight leg crop in a blue, not distressed, hardly faded. It's just a really good traditional denim blue. So these are very flattering, soft, comfortable jeans too. If you wanna find really modern jeans that are more affordable, even more affordable than Madewell. Look at the brand STS. I think it's STS Blue. And we'll put a couple options in the description box that we like, but that brand makes jeans that are very modern and very affordable. Let's venture on to the pants category. I didn't know I would be creating a pants category because I normally don't buy that many pants since I don't work in an office. But there are two standouts I wanted to show you this year. One is this pair of faux leather cropped pants by Halogen. And these are a really awesome high quality faux leather. They look like the real deal. I actually have a pair very similar to these that are the real deal and these are very lovely. You guys will love them. They are crop flared or kick flares, another word for it. And I paired these with this really sweet polka dot blouse, button up blouse, and a pair of black booties. The second pair of pants I wanna show you is actually a pair of joggers. They're by Socialite and they are silky joggers in this really cool green tone. It's more like an army green, somewhere between an army and a forest. It's a really pretty green. I just paired these joggers with some Golden Goose sneakers and a Rails white button down shirt, which is in the sale by the way, I already owned it. But if you don't have this shirt, such a great shirt, such a great basic, and you will love this shirt for sure. But these pants are just really fun and cool and casual and effortless. And I feel like right now, most of our lifestyles are pretty casual. We're not going that many places. So these are also very comfortable. It's great for the grocery store or errands or hanging out at home or doing your Zoom calls. Whatever you're doing that day, these are great pants to hang out in. Let's move on to sweaters. Again, I have oodles of cardigans. I have purchased a cardigan every year during every Nordstrom sale. That leaf cardigan, I've got it in like three colors. I want to show you three sweaters that I think are super cute, comfortable, but also, you know, you can wear them outside the house. The first one is this brown wrap front balloon sleeve sweater by All In Favor. I love the sleeves on this sweater. I love the wrap front, so flattering. I love the color too. The only thing about the sleeves is that when you have sleeves like this, you can't tuck them into a coat. Something to think about. I paired this sweater with those same Madewell jeans and a pair of booties by Jeffrey Campbell and this really dark chocolate brown. I love these booties. I'll talk about them a bit more in just a minute. The second sweater I wanna show you is this camo cardigan, very cropped by Rails. Rails known for their fabric. I just showed you the white button down. The sweater is so, so soft. Even my daughter would wear it. She only wears soft stuff. She has that sensory thing going on. Such an edgy, cool sweater, but then also very, very soft and comfortable. And I paired that with the same gray rag and bone jeans and the same black booties. 
The next sweater I want to show you is this black v-neck by Chelsea 28. I wanted to show you this one because of the length of the sweater. I think it's hard to find sweaters that are really cute, that look nice, that don't look so voluminous, oversized, crazy, that will layer beautifully under things, but also give you more coverage around the hips, butt, and thighs. So this sweater is perfect. It covers the hips, butt, and thighs. You can wear them with leggings, wear them with skinny jeans, but then also you can layer over it. Here I'm layering the All Saints moto jacket over the sweater. So it's thin enough, you can still layer over it, and it's also long enough so it covers that hips, butt, and thighs. So I really love this sweater, and it comes in a bunch of colors. If you want color, if you're looking for a standout color for a sweater, take a look at this cowl neck sweater. It's in this beautiful baby blue. I can't remember the brand offhand for this sweater, but I'll put a link to it below. Such a beautiful color. Next category, tops. Blouses, shirts. The first top I wanna to highlight is this one by One State. It is a high neck, smock neck, flutter sleeve blouse. And it's in this really subtle gray cheetah print pattern. I love this blouse. It's so just lovely, it's soft, it's feminine. Wear it alone, layer it, layer it under things, you know, transitions, wear it now, wear it later. It's just gonna be a heavy hitter. The nice thing is too, this blouse comes in long sleeves. So if you want a long sleeve version, no problem. With this top, by the way, wearing those Madewell jeans and the black Louis AC booties. The next top I wanted to show you guys is this one by Rachel Parcel. It is a black lace balloon sleeve top, very subtle balloon sleeve. You can still layer over this one, by the way. Just such a beautiful blouse, really feminine, really pretty, breathable because the lace. And I paired that with the Madewell jeans and the black booties, the same ones I just showed you. But this is such a beautiful blouse. I think if you like feminine pieces, you're really gonna love this blouse. And the nice thing too is it's a bit longer, so you can wear it out. You don't have to worry about tucking it in if you wanna hide like a lower tummy, for example. And then the hemline is so beautiful. It's like a scalloped hemline and it's so pretty out. That's a really nice feature of this blouse. Before I move on to the next category, just wanted to mention the same Free People bodysuit that I featured before in beige also comes in this beautiful shade of green. I love green. I think it's such a dynamic color. I love it for fall. And I paired this with some rag and bone jeans that are on the baggier side. So if you've been looking for a pair of baggier, lighter blue jeans, these are awesome. Next up, booties. First, I wanna highlight the booties that have been in the sale I think for the last three years, the Mark Fisher suede booties. So they also come in like a five colors. So I have them in the brown suede, but if you don't already have a solid pair of black booties, this is a great option. Only thing about the Mark Fisher booties, there's no side zip. So you gotta pull them on and pull them off, which is kind of annoying, but they're really good looking booties. Second pair of booties I wanted to talk to you about, which I have featured already quite a bit in this video, the black Louise AC booties. I'm a big fan of Louise AC, the wife of Vince Camuto. She makes comfortable shoes. It's interesting to me though that like usually her shoes are pretty wide. These booties are pretty narrow. So if you have a narrow foot, these are gonna be great. If you've got a wider toe bed or wider foot, probably not great. Just something to keep in mind. I really like the heel of these booties, very manageable. Also, it has a really cool shape. It's more of like a triangle shape, which makes them, you know, unique, different, special. The third pair of booties I wanted to show you guys are these by Jeffrey Campbell, the square toe booties. They have a side zip. It's funny because like square toe was dated for a long time. But now the square toe is back. I really love this dark chocolate brown color. You guys know I've been collecting dark chocolate browns, you know, and brown tones for the last couple years. I really love these booties. And I love that they're fitted to the ankle. So they'll fit really nicely under all of those crop straight leg jeans that I have. Just just really good looking booties. Two others I wanted to mention. One are the Sorrel lace-up boots. So if you live in a climate where you get snow and rain and inclement weather, these are great because they're fully waterproof. They also have a great tread, so that you're not gonna slip slide around. They are not super warm on the inside, so you will have to wear them. If you do wear them in the snow, you'll have to wear them with like a wool sock. Also wanted to mention these Combat Tan Boots by Naturalizer. Naturalizer is a comfort shoe brand, so they do have a lot of support and cushion. They also have a manageable chunky heel with a great lugged sole. And if you live in a climate like I do, where you do get snow, rain, anything can happen, this is an awesome option that also looks really edgy, kind of badass and cool. 
you know? They also are lace up, but have a side zip, which I really love. So you don't have to actually lace them up at all. It's a beautiful thing. Next category, accessories. There are three I wanna share with you guys. The first is this treasure and bond hat. It is actually like a green shade, but it looks very gray to me. And then there's a subtle Python print on the strap. But again, that doesn't, that's really hard to see. It almost looks gray and black, but it's really green. The second accessory I wanna talk about is this necklace combination. So I actually have three necklaces on. Two of them are Argento Vivo. I can't remember this brand, but I'll link it below. It's a choker. You can adjust it and make it more like this length or make it longer. Third accessory are sunglasses. There are two pairs of key sunglasses I wanted to show you. This black cat eye pair, and then this pair of square aviators in brown. I really love both of these sunglasses. They're reasonably priced. Very very modern, they're gonna add a lot of pop to any look that you wear them with, plus you've got the UV protection and all that. Just two really great pairs of sunglasses to add some excitement to your wardrobe. The last category, was the biggest surprise for me. Every year, I like glaze over the dresses. I'm like, eh, especially this year. I'm like, where am I going? I'm not going anywhere. But somehow I ended up with awesome dresses and I wanted to show them to you guys because that's what I'm here for, right? <laughs> Three of the dresses are by All Saints. First one is a slip dress with a sweater. I saw this online and I was like, this looks like it could be either really cool or really bad. And it is really cool. It's two separate pieces. It's a slip dress and a sweater. So you can wear them as separates. And I'm not normally a huge fan of the slip dress. I feel like sometimes it can be very unforgiving, but this slip dress is cut in such a way that it really is flattering for the body. You can wear it alone, but then you can also throw the little gray crop sweater over it. And it looks so chic and effortless. You just, you know, artfully layered this. It looks like you're super cool. You know, you're like cool mom, cool grandma, whatever. I just love this combination. And then on my feet, those same black booties that I just showed you, but this is such an awesome combination. I really, really love it. And I love that it's separate. Second All Saints dress is actually this one. It's like a rusty brown. I love it. I love the not front detail in the front. It really creates a waist for me because I don't have one and defines a waist if you already do have one. And then the overlay is so elegant, but the fabric is jersey and the neckline is halter. So it makes it really sporty and casual. I feel like you could wear it with sneakers. You could wear it with sandals. You could wear it with booties. You could wear it with tall boots. You could wear it with heels. It has versatility. You can easily layer jackets, blazers, moto, denim over it too. Next is this really interesting dress, again by All Saints, with a zip front. This was another one I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but it's it's intriguing. So I wanna see it, I wanna try it. Really super cool. There are a few things you can do with this dress. You can tie the sash in the front loosely and wear it almost as like a shift dress very loose and flowy. You can tie it super tight, like wrap it in the front and tie it in the back and wear it as an empire waist dress. Or you could wear it just knotted in the front, tied in the front. And that's a really cool look too. This is a really edgy modern dress. I love the hemlines of these dresses, by the way. They're all longer, which is really great, especially as you're, you know, over 40, over 50. Just another standout piece. The last dress I just wanted to mention is the Topshop knit dress that I showed you in the very beginning. That dress, surprisingly really good. Like the fabric is heavy, not crazy heavy, but like fall winter heavy. It doesn't show every lump and bump. It's a great just sweater dress that covers everything, will keep you warm, especially if you're in a cooler climate. It's one of those dresses you could throw on a belt with, wear some necklaces. You can do different things with it, but I think it's really comfortable, really warm and really chic. So I wanted to show that to you. It's also very affordable. I know I didn't talk a lot about sizing in this video or pricing. It's already so long. I just wanted to like get the information out there, get the pics out there. Everything else, the details will be in the description box. So we'll put sizing in the description box for you, whether it's true to size or what size I bought. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Did you find an amazing piece I didn't talk about? Remember, I have all the basics already, so I'm not buying the Leith cardigan, the Spanx full leather leggings, the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I'm not buying dark wash skinny jeans. Like I have all of that already. But if you don't, sign up for my newsletter, get those free wardrobe basics checklists, start there, don't break the bank, make sure you get those basics covered first, and then move on to other things. 
Two quick beauty purchases I wanted to share with you guys before I let you go. you like, stop talking already. The Olaplex hair set. This is really fabulous, very expensive, so get it on sale. Especially if you have mature hair, you need super duper hydration and repair. It's also like a really nice size for traveling if you're going on a road trip. The other thing that I got, ooh, this is exciting. This hair dryer. So I have my T3 that I love so much, but this one weighs under one pound. Pound. It feels so light in my hand. Another weird thing is the grip. It's so tiny. So I gotta get used to it. But like, you don't even need to have it on high. You could put it on medium and it still has so much zip. This is amazing. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate your support. You are amazing. Don't forget to let me know if you have any questions. Here to help, here to answer those questions. And I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.